break them. That's the same thing that evil does when it proposes something to you and I, and even the narcissist plus the personality. It is dressed in a way that evil. Maybe one day you'll enjoy being members of the family. Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. The Three God, often is seen seducing those who are seeking the truth, but not those who know the truth. See, from my experience in life thus far, real eyes realize real lies. So he seems to mix lies with truth, which is that of a trickster. This is also what we know demons to do. Elisio seems to show that he will use gaslighting techniques in order to meet his aims or to get what he wants. He is often seen mind-screwing people, not just those in carbonation, but those who watch him on social media. He seems to have serpentine ways, maybe even Svengali-like tactics. There never seems to be a bottom line. Okay, there seems to be mixed signals. Very often he's using subliminal messages. So he's demonstrating that he lacks power, but he uses force in order to trick people into believing he has power. But if we pay careful attention, we will see Elisio has very little power, even when it comes to carbon nation. Look at all the people who are coming out now, speaking out, 
and speaking about their experiences in carbonation. It's not looking too good for Elishio Lee Bishop right now. So when we start to learn about cults, thought reforms, dark personality types, what this is going to do is to help us from succumbing to cults. It's also going to help us not to succumb so easily to the ideology of cultic processes. See, Alicio is pulling some of the wildest shenanigans perhaps any of us has seen. So when Elicio is applying military indoctrination, he is showing himself to use force rather than have power. He's also using various references, okay, of new age. He's also using various religious references and doctrine in order to elude or actually try to trick people into believing that he has power. He uses cadence. Okay, so this has a lot to do with timing and pattern. So he uses the word solid. We often hear Elicio talking about energy and frequencies. So he demonstrates that he lacks power, yet he wants everybody to believe he has a lot of power and that he's very powerful. Therefore, to be feared, if not respected. Being respected seems to hit a raw nerve with Alicio. His perspective of being disrespected by others tends to be distorted to the point where he is displaying male aggression. So how is he gonna be powerful? No, he's showing himself to be powerless because he's using force. If he had the respect of the cult members, he wouldn't have to use force. He's using a lot of force in order to keep the cult members in line. But if you notice, since he was locked up, there are more cult members who are coming out. Just think about that for a minute. As soon as he got locked up, they came out. As soon as Alicia went in, cult members came out. They spoke out. They're still speaking out. So right now, while he's locked up, there are others who are not willing to stay down with him anymore. So that to me shows that he doesn't have a lot of power. Sure, he may have some personal power, but he wants people to believe that he's the three God. Number three doesn't seem to be his lucky number because if I'm not mistaken, it was three of his cult members who came out and spoke against him before he got locked up three female cult members, to be exact. He refers to himself as not only Nature Boy and the three God, but as the programmer. He claims that he created people from the genetic matter of his mind. He says that all humans are his children. Again, he's using force, not power. He doesn't seem to use success or his being successful to influence other people. He's not being successful to the point where he is also inspiring other people to be successful in their own right. Instead, he wants people enslaved to him. He creates this false narrative that he's a victim. That doesn't sound powerful to me. That sounds like he's using force. He's actually not very powerful at all. He talks about polygamy and enjoying polygamous relationships, third party networks, okay? Usually narcissists, they often have a third party situation that is actually a huge network. They have a huge network of third party situations. Alicio often prides himself on having polygamous relationships, but when we look at carbonation and how it's being ran, it lacks value, it lacks the principles. It lacks a lot of positive things. There are three main reasons that people will get married. Number one, wealth. Number two, status. Number three, power. So when he's talking about polygamous relationships, he doesn't seem to show that he has a lot of power. He shows 
that he's using a lot of force to try to keep people in line or try to keep all his women in line. A polygamous relationship, you will not find this to be the case. It often reflects more honor, more pride, more value and principles. Elisio tends to have people in the call who may have a herd mentality, a hive mentality or a cave mentality. That means that they tend to have like a group think thing going on. Okay, now this hive, herd, and cave mentality is often used to shield cult leaders and narcissistic or dark personality types who are leading groups, families, and organizations. So instead of empowering other people, no, Elisio seems to enslave others with his rhetoric and false accusations of being a victim and then he wants people to believe that he's all powerful. To me, that doesn't mix. If a person is so godlike and all powerful, they're not going to look at themselves as a victim and they're not going to try to convince anyone who looks up to him or her as a victim. But when a person claims to be so powerful and so godlike that they don't make any mistakes, well, then to claim to be a victim is hypocritical. One way to buffer the effect of having a narcissist relationship is to understand, overstand, and understand who and what you're dealing with. See, once an individual decides that he or she will disconnect from their highest consciousness, then what's left? Very often, you're going to find that he or she will operate from a lower vibrational frequency, which is the lowest state or having a lower state of consciousness. So what this means is that a narcissist is often going to be found to lack the capacity to love, support, nourish, connect, befriend, and become intimate or even care for others. Very often, narcissists are jealous of those around him or her. They are jealous of others who have the capacity to love, to care, to be intimate, to befriend, to have positive relationships. Very often, narcissists are so jealous of others that they will attempt to hijack their identities, okay, as their own, and to extract from those individuals for sources of supply. The desire to connect with others does not exist when it comes to a dark personality type. Okay, so, you know, people are often conned out of their dignity, finances, and self-respect. And if possible, indiv individuals are to be played out of their very minds. The narcissist often prefers this because once they get them in the mind, they can get everything else. We often see this reflected in the carbonation cult. Okay, so very often dark personality types who are running groups and who are trying to control others, they don't think about the cost of it. They are too busy salivating over the rewards or what they think they're going to get or how they're going to get over others, right? So as far as like the narcissist is concerned, they're never going to pay for any of it. They often think that they are all powerful. So when we look at Elisio Lee Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. The Three God, when we look at him running the cult, we're looking at a person who's using a lot of force. We're looking at a person who perhaps is delusional. We're looking at a person who is mind-screwing a lot of people that pay him attention. So you're looking at a person who may be using force because at the end of the day, they lack power. Special thank you to a channel called Zen Wounds. For the full link to the video you're about to watch, please check the description box below.
going on today? Peace. It's your boy Nature Boy checking in with y'all again. Um, today we're gonna really dive deep into something real quick. We're gonna talk about um intercourse. I've been meaning to make this video about intercourse. Intercourse is when two or more parties engage into becoming one. Marriage. So is the mind, your mind, that's your soul, and the spirit is energy, we must become the master of our energies, right, so how do we do that, this is done through intercourse, you have to understand what intercourse is, okay, when you become one with something, when two or more entities become one, Um, when you listen to something, say you listening to some music and it's saying, we gonna be all right, we gonna be all right, you know what I'm saying, when you listening to that music, you don't realize it that you're listening to someone saying, we gonna be all right, but in your mind, it is playing, we gonna be, you're saying it, so if he say, I love you, I love you, I love you. So say someone says that in a song. Soon as you hear it, it's saying, I love you, I love you, I love you. Like I'm talking to you right now. And when I say I, I'm you're saying I when you hear me. You see, so now when you listen to me, you become one with what I'm saying. You see how that works? That's called intercourse. So be careful what you let go in your ears because it becomes you and programs your subconscious. The eyesight works because soon as you envision something, and if you know how the eyes work, the eyes work like this. When you see an image, that image is sent into your mind. It's sent into your brain and your brain registers what that image is and it tells your brain what, what it's seeing, right? It turns it upside down or right side up and then that you know what you're seeing. So you are actually becoming one with what you see. People, other entities, you become one with. You hang around people, you hang around successful people, you're gonna be successful. You hang around bum people, you're gonna be, probably end up to be a bum because you take on the characters of the people that you hang around. You take on the energy, the spirit. Remember what the energy and the spirit was. You take on that spirit. It's like when you eat in food, you take on that spirit. Or when you hear hearing something, you take on that spirit that you hear it repetitively, repetitively. I'm saying things that's unlocking DNA and making your consciousness expand, which is your mind expand. I'm opening your head so that you can think about these things because it's really important. Remember, intercourse is when two or more parties become one. Okay, so you become one with your environment, your, whatever you hear, whatever you smell, whatever you taste and see, okay? So you must become the master of your own self. Peace, it's Nature Boy checking out. Love y'all.
terrible as wisdom when it brings no profit to the wise, Johnny. Who is Cypher? Lucifer. And I know who I am. If I had cloven hooves and a pointed tail, would you be more convinced? You're crazy. I know I am. You're trying to frame me. You're trying to frame me. Cypher, I know who I am. My name's not Johnny. All killed by your own hand. Guided by me, naturally. Frankly, you were doomed from the moment you slit that young boy in half. But Johnny... For 12 years, you've been living on borrowed time and another man's memories. But what gives human life its worth? Anyway. Because someone loves it, hates it. The flesh is weak, Johnny. Only the soul is immortal. That's not abuse. How many people live there? Are you okay? This is in the middle of my rest. It's okay? You're okay, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. 